in your written remarks, you are opening the door for a greening of monetary policy. And it's clear, no financial and monetary stability can exist without fighting climate change. And the European Central Bank has to play its role as the most powerful economic institution. But in your written answers, you are saying, uh, well, the ECB will need to assess whether and how it can apply uh, this. This is not strong enough. Can you be stronger and bolder on greening monetary policy and asset purchasing uh, by your institution under your leadership? My personal view on those issues is that any institution has to actually have climate change risks and protection of the environment at the core of the understanding of their mission. Primary mandate, price stability, of course, but it has to be embedded in that, that climate change and environmental risks are mission critical. And I believe that charity begins at home. So what we did at the IMF, for instance, is focus on what, as an institution, as you know, 3,000 people behaving in one, under one single roof, what can we do, what can we improve, how can we be more effective in that respect, number one. Number two, quickly on the IMF and then I'll, I'll jump to the ECB. We, as I said, had climate change finally accepted as a macro-critical risk. And as a result of that, the fiscal department and various other departments at the IMF focused on the grants and uh, uh, subsidies that were given uh, to burning fossil fuel, for instance, the direct and the indirect cost of doing so. Uh, we also focused on fiscally responsible budgets in that respect. Let me now turn to the, uh, the ECB, and again, without prejudice to what is happening and to what maybe I will be able to achieve, because governing council at the end of the day uh, decides under the leadership of its president. Same thing, charity begins at home. Number two, there is a pension fund that is actually managed by the ECB, which can certainly take decisions in respect of where it invests. Number three, participating in the network for greening finance. And when you have a bunch of central bankers saying climate change risks are material risks that need to be assessed by banks in their jurisdictions, if I'm a bank, I become a bit concerned and I start at looking at my provisioning and I start at looking at the portfolio management that I have as a result of that. And in terms of its investment, I'll be super quick uh, on that. In terms of investment, obviously, uh, the ECB cannot exclusively invest its you know, 2.6 2 trillion portfolio into green um, bonds because there is not enough of a market. But if it signals that it will be increasing and will be intensively looking at that, then it's also, for the market, something to register in terms of where it's going to direct its funding. 